What's up everybody and welcome to episode number one of An Idiot's Road to Redemption. We are doing a playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. I wasn't sure whether to drop the idiots, but it has been a very long time since I have played a game like this, an open world game. The last actual single player game I played was Spider-Man and before that I can't even remember it was probably a PS3 one. So we went, we stuck with it. We probably aren't really going to know what we're doing too much. I mean, I was pretty good at Spider-Man. I've played the old Red Dead, I played the original one. I've steered clear totally of anything to do with this game, so I have literally no idea as to what is coming. Kind of like when you go to, you, when you know you want to see a film that's come out in the cinema. What's this? By 1899, the Age of Outlaws and Gunslingers was at an end. Interesting. So that's before this then, obviously, was Red Dead number one. America was becoming the land of the law. Yeah, like I said, I played Red Dead 1. That was like on PS3 though. So I've totally steered clear of this because I knew I wanted to play it because it'd be absolutely insane because Red Dead 1 was as well. Even the West had mostly been tamed. And like I said, when you go to the cinema, when there's a trailer out for a movie that you know you want to see, you don't watch the trailer because it's probably going to be spoilers. So I've steered clear of everything to do with this game. A few gangs still roamed but they are being hunted down and destroyed. So I imagine you're going to be part of one of them gangs, as otherwise you wouldn't really be an outlaw. It wouldn't be Red Dead Redemption. Here we go. I am, I, I'm pretty sure, like, I'm going to try and make these episodes, like, 20, 25, 30, 35 minutes long. Like, bite-sized, actual, watchable chunks of episodes, not, like, two hours of me just playing the game. So... If my memory of these types of games is true, the first episode is probably going to be mostly like cutscenes and teaching you how to control the character and all different stuff like that. But we can enjoy the getting to know the story together. And then I'm going to have, try and have a different one of these every single morning. So I've Red Dead in the morning and the Road to Glory in the evening. So don't worry, the Road to Glory isn't going anywhere. That is still going to be every evening, every day, and we're going to try and have an episode of Red Dead every single day as well as we play through the story together. So, it's Abigail snowing. says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay, Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh, if we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Did you say it's May? It's Arthur. snowing like that in May. Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old man in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! This is not what I was expecting at all. It looks really, really, really nice, but this is not what I was expecting in the slightest. It's snowing. I thought I was going to be riding around like the Nevada desert or something like that. Okay, interesting. <laughs> interesting. Chapter one, Coulter. Okay, so maybe if these chapters are nicely, nice lengths, we can do a chapter per episode and then obviously we're going to get distracted with the side quests and stuff like that, but very interesting. I hope the game looks this good when we're actually playing it, not just in a cutscene, because it looks really, really, really nice. Bring him in here! So we've got to this little abandoned mining town or something like that, is it? And there's a guy, Davey, who's... Is he dead? Is he sick? I should probably preface this video by saying as well, I keep everything on my channel PG because I know there is... Get that fire lit, quick. I know there's kids who Ms. watch Jones, this and they've said... Whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. I don't want to miss the story. This is the problem. Davy's dead. Well, Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we going to do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here. And you are going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I... We're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. This? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny. Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. 
but we lost some focus. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. Me. What really went down back there on that boat? We miss you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We need you strong. This is not what okay. I was expecting at all. Oh, okay. Match speed. That's a. I like games that do that. This is not what I was expecting. The snow, I was expecting Wild Wild West riding around the desert. I should probably, like I was saying. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Tap to ride faster. Okay, nice. I should preface this by saying this game is an 18. If I wasn't tapping to ride faster, I'd pick the case up and show you. So if you guys aren't old enough to be playing games like this, or if your parents didn't want you playing games like this, probably shouldn't be watching it as well. I mean, that's up to you guys what you do. I can't control you, but I just thought I'd put that at the start of the game. I don't think personally my mum was going to mind me. I'll want to slow down my horse. Okay. Move up alongside me. Wait, is that like a break? It can, okay, it completely stops. We lost Davey too. He is the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. Double tap and hold X to ride alongside. To That's what I'm doing. The others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like I was saying. That's a start. We're going off hunting for these guys. I can probably talk to Dutch. See, I really want to talk to you guys, but I'm playing the game as well. And what about the money? Please tell me you at least got the money before it all went to hell on that boat. We did. It's stashed with the rest of the money in town. It'll be safe for now. But we sure can't go back there to collect it anytime soon. Hey, I think I see something up the path. Interesting. Yeah, you guys basically don't watch this if you want money watch it. I know you guys, I've had parents tell me, kids tell me that they like my videos because the parents like them because the kids can watch them because they don't swear and stuff like that. And the kids like them because they can watch them on the couch without the mum shouting at them. But I'm personally not going to, but like this is an 18 game. People are probably going to die in it. People are probably going to swear. So you have to be warned. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean. We don't know. Quite a business. This is, I still, how, also, also, I can't get over the fact that the snow, I can't get over the fact that, look, the horse makes tracks in the snow, that's ridiculous, this game's mad. Have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. 
Things always turn out right for that boy. So this is one of the guys who are missing and he's found some people. And there's some more guys still missing as well. Mr. Morgan, I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. Been kind of lonely out here. Where's everyone else? Old mining camp, back up the hill. Huddled around a fire, waiting for daddy to put food on the table. Said it before, we got too many mouths to feed. Well, we got a few less now, so you should be happy. That ain't fair, Arthur. I earn my share. You think it's unreasonable to expect others to do the same? So, this house... You speak to the people there already? No. Okay. Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Easy. Uh -oh. Okay. Let's head down there. Hey, so we've stashed our lands. Is something about to go down? Yeah. This guy's still got his land and knowing he's making a nice little track for the snow. Uh, okay, health is displayed in the app. Something's about to go down. We've just found our health. Displays in the lower left corner, All right. The outer bar shows your remaining health. The level of the inner core influences how quickly your health refills. Let's hitch up here. Interesting. Approach the hitching posts. This game's actually mad. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do the talk. Okay. We don't want to scare these folks. Someone's having fun in there. Hey, give me that. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Go to the shed and take cover. Is this the cattle shed? Arthur, get in position. Come on. I'm doing, man. I'm gone. Ooh, okay. Okay. Something's definitely about to go down. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well. Hello, Fran. What you want? I am very sorry. To disturb you, uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur, need some. There's a body food. in the wagon. I hear you, just. Gentlemen. Keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. We've got our gun. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please, I am. Oh, the mist! I ain't got time shooting him. Oh, he's just been headshot, though. Can't bloody see in the snow. Oh, that was a headshot. I like it. Jeez, he takes a lot of bullets. One of them's making a run for it. Oh, there he goes. Run, Arthur! Run! 
Ah! <laughs> George, you bring us now, so slow. We return to Dutch. Okay, we'll kill him first. Alright. I thought we had to rugby tackle him or something like that. <laughs> we were so funny in the snow. <laughs> but that's not tell me I'm doing it wrong. Is that me running out of stamina? Is that what that is? Because I'm sprinting too much. That was, that was pretty mean. He was running away and I just shot him back. Party. That was pretty lethal. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Radar blips that cover large areas are meant to be searched. <laughs> I like the way he just said we need the essentials. Whiskey. Alright, there's some canned veg and some canned fruit. Your health core drains over time and is now empty. While empty, you'll experience negative effects. Is it gonna is it gonna tell you what the negative effects are? No. It's a strange one, alright. It's just gonna tell you to open my satchel. There's a big price on Interesting. Mud it restores health core and slightly restores stamina core. There's loads of stuff that you can get in here. Okay. He's just fully There's necked a can of sweet corn like it's a beer, Annie. <laughs> <laughs> just a whole tin of sweet corn. Maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Wait, what did that say? Christ knows. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Hmm. Poor bastard was married too. Grab anything you think we can use. Wait, is that a real picture of actual people or is that an incredible video game? I didn't even know they did pictures like that in the 1980s. What the hell? In the eight, 1890s. <laughs> okay, interesting. Oh, oat cakes. I like oat cakes. Alright, can we go up there? Can we go up the ladder? Oh, we can go up the ladder. Okay. What have we got up here? Oh, more oak cakes. Yes, like it. And revolver cartridges. Hmm. Ah, okay, we've got 41 ammo. I want to access the item wheel. Fully restores health and then... My winter gloves. Why would I want to take my gloves off? I'd literally freeze to death. Is that everything? I think so. It told me to go outside, didn't it? No loading screens. Arthur, I like it. I mean, it's a, for stuff. it was an 80 gig install. Arthur, it's got two bloody go discs. See if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin. I should think there's no missed. loading screens as well. Sure. Maybe what was this fella say? Investigate the barn. Okay. Go on, Arthur. Get running through that snow, mate. Down to. Okay, that's my objective. I know my objective. I've got no dollars as well. Open the barn door. I'll be saying. Ooh, I got me a horsey. Jesus Christ. Crap myself? What's going on? 
this guy just jump me. Oh, oh. oh just getting the crap bean out of him. Oh, go on, Arthur. Give him the swift one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sneaky little bastard. Should I kill him? No. Well, we can interrogate yeah. him. Find out what they're doing here and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. This is pretty deep. Oh, there we go. We can ask him a question. With the others at an old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. Oh, he can just beat the crap out of him and he'll tell us anyway. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. <laughs> I don't know anything else. <laughs> Please, please spare me. I, I promise you, you won't see me again, partner. Please, partner. Right, so we can choose. We can either just carry on beating the crap out of him. We can spare him. Or we can, I, I assume, choke him to death. I, I won't breathe a word to nobody. Let me know in the comments, should you be a good author or a bad author? Does he, does he say anything else? Oh, no, okay, we just beat him to death. Brilliant. Well. Turns out we've been a bad author. And we dropped our gun. And my hat. I thought I was looking a bit different. <laughs> let, let me know if you guys think we should be good or bad. We've just been bad. We need to go calm a horse. Let's do some good. Do they actually just press square to go, whoa, <laughs> this game's something else. <laughs> Pat the horse. Okay. Yeah, that's it, boy. Horse bonding achieved. Lead the horse. Continue to bond with your horse. Is this my horse now? Increases its trust in you and improves its attributes. So I got to pet my horse on the reg. Is that bastard still in there? He's dealt with. Good. That looks like a decent horse. Well, you should keep him. There's the answer to that. To we should keep him. him. He's already skittish. Get away from me! Oh crap! What's my going on? What the hell do you think you're doing? Okay, we mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on, it'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. He's just Come set on. the bloody house on fire, the lunatic. What's oh. he doing? <laughs> you okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they. Okay, miss. Oh, you she's the one in the picture. Can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Mate, he's just messed our house up. Like, what did he throw the table okay. over for? There was literally no need to do that, was Bad there? Man. What's he called? He Micah. Yeah. I don't like it's Micah okay. yeah. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband.
Somebody's coming. Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Combe O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now how come Arthur gets a room when I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Oh, okay. Been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. We've just also saved. We are about half an hour in. Is this is this chapter two or is this just like part two of chapter one? I'm not really sure, but I feel like this might be a good section, a good place to end episode one. Like I said. It was mostly just cutscenes and learning to drive my horse and hitch my horse and pat my horse and punch a man and stuff like that. But that is where we're going to leave this episode. I tried using a webcam for this to make my life a lot easier so we could record like 45 minutes at a time and then chop out like the horse riding once we get actually like into the series and stuff more like riding places and stuff like that. And you guys don't have to just watch me endlessly riding my horse and we could chop it down into like a half an hour episode. But the software is going a little bit mental and we might have to just go back to using like my actual DSLR. But anyway... I'm not going to rabble on at you guys anymore. We're just going to finish the episode there. There'll be another one of these out for you guys tomorrow in half hour chunks. So it might take us quite a while to finish the game, but I think I'm going to enjoy it and I hope you guys are too. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow morning.